Hey everyone, so today it is time to introduce the Lamborghini Jalpa. Okay, no. But it is time to introduce this Jalpa, and that is a new pair of glasses by T. Henry from their brand new release with all of the yummy new hardware bits, beautiful details, and a little bit of 80 inspiration to go a long ways. Let's take a look at it and see what makes this one special. So for starters, if you're new here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, stick around for a while, where we play with all kinds of cool glasses like this and talk about tips on how to take care of and keep them fitting properly. Today, focus is going to be on this guy, as I mentioned, which is the new Jalpa by T. Henry. Very cool, very harsh lines, large and in charge, everything you would expect from a car based off of the famous Lamborghini Jalpa from the 1980s. Very hard lines, very boxy. As far as what the inspiration is here, let's read it straight off the T. Henry site and their description it is a highly visible charging bull that is easy to rip a spec with DNA to stir havoc in traffic. And that is exactly what this frame is going to do, particularly in the asteroid colorway. It's bold, it's in charge, it's edgy, flows from edge to edge, but it still stands out at the same time. As you can see, even here backing away, we still have a very strong presence from this frame. It is a street stunner built to get everyone's attention and keep a cool, clean look while it has its hard edge all the way around. Very stark contrast, very big square, very bold in charge. This is one that's gonna make your statement. It's a very good dress up, dress down, full business look, but, as it goes, we always have to talk about the details, and that is what I like, the details on the T. Henry frames. This is their new custom titanium core, fully milled titanium, 24 karat, or ooh, 18? Oh, Jesus, I don't remember. Da, 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 da. They don't even have it on their side. Anyway, it is gold plated. I don't remember the grade of the gold plating. I know it is a very thick gold plating, so very nice finish overall there, but you can just see how that catches the light. It's absolutely beautifully encased in that temple. And of course, we've still got nice adjustment points through here and the little hexagon detailing at the tip, which I am a big fan of because it coordinates beautifully with the three hexagonal rivet heads that bolt to, oh yes, this incredible seven barrel hinge with the little star lug nut on the bottom. All car inspiration, all around, all incredible. And yes, those are real rivets there, by the way. And then there's heat sunk to the front with the shields implanted flush to the front of the frame with just a little detailing coming out. I hear very good things about something else in the future that I am not going to get into just yet, but just wait. They're unveiling their new series very soon, and I can't wait to actually see that. But focus on the Jalpa today, Matt. One thing at a time. So this one being very boxy and square, it's going to be a little bit better for softer faces or when you want that really edgy in-your-face punch. Definitely a boss pair of glasses. This is the one for the Zoom meeting where you want everybody to pay attention and not just snore in the background because they aren't worried about you will command the attention and the respect driving the Jalpa or wearing the Jalpa either way. This is with the clear optical lenses. And if you want it as sunglasses, of course, the alternative is to order it with the sun version on their site. It comes with the green gradient, which is a beautiful classic for the asteroid colorway. So you've got your black, you've got your gold detailing, and then a green lens. One of my favorites. There's two ways to go with a black and gold frame. That is your nice complementary green tones, or you could go with a golden bronze lens. I like the green. Very classic, very cool vibes. That's what T. Henry picked. I had no part in that, I promise you. <laughs> anyway. Overall, the balance on this frame is really good, which is saying a lot when you've got this much material on the nose. They can tend to be a little bit nose heavy when you start getting to the side, but the balance is there. 
The fit, the feel is good. The look is exceptional. Plenty of tempo length to spares, 145. And for the eye size on these lenses, we are 52.8. So essentially 53 millimeters across the lens, 23 millimeters between the bridge. So it is a pretty good wide frame. This in the asteroid colorway, there were 75 produced, and this is number 16 of the run. Beautiful. 75 incredible pieces. <sighs> you know, as it always goes with T. Henry, if you like it, I'm not gonna tell you anything other than go buy it because you will miss the chance and you will be like me and you will be sitting there going, oh, I really should have got that one. I didn't realize that was the last one. Hmm. Word spoken from someone who has actually done that. Anyway, I won't keep you too much longer. Six minutes is plenty for a review video, even on a frame as beautiful as this one. So with that said, I'll catch you next time. Let me know what you think of the Jalpa if it stands up to the history of the beautiful Lamborghini Jalpa that inspired the shape and style. Catch you guys next time.